Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. Okay, full disclosure, today's Make It Monday is something that I sewed last year. Here's a clip from my December 2018 makes video. Okay, and then the only thing you guys haven't seen yet is my new Butterick 6466. I love this pattern. I don't think it's out of print yet, but I think it's probably pretty close. And I'm telling you guys, it is phenomenal. Like you will love this dress. This is my second version. And you guys know I don't make repeats of patterns very often. I actually filmed all this modeling footage back in January when I made a quick trip back to Charleston after moving to Charlotte. I realized it's new to all of you and I actually have a lot to say about it, so I figured I'd share my thoughts about it anyway. Better late than never. The pattern is one of my tried and trues Butterick 6446. The website has a short description which reads, Fitted through the bodice dresses have lined bodice and sleeve, skirt, and length variations. Views B and C include a sash. I love the bodice with the faux wrap, also known as a surplus bodice, and the little pleats on the one side create a beautiful fit and an illusion of a super small waist. For this version, I made view B with the skirt length of A, with a few inches added to the hem so that it hits right at my knee. Lengthening the skirt is not something I usually have to do. This is just a super short skirt. Like I said, I've made this pattern before. You might remember it from my initial review I posted early last year. All in all, I really love this pattern and I especially love how it turned out with the fabric. I can't wait to make another one. One of my favorite things to do to a pattern that I have made before is to elevate the workmanship. Sometimes it's tweaking the fit or the construction. The fit of this pattern is pretty perfect right out of the envelope, but the construction of the insides could use some tweaking. So the first thing I did was to add a self-facing to the lining. This is a super simple way to give your garment a little oomph and I'll be showing you how to do it on an upcoming Tuesday toot, so stay tuned for that. When you do this, you run zero risk of the lining peeping out to the right side, so you can have a lot of fun with the linings. Here are the ones I was choosing from. I let my boyfriend pick and he chose number three. The fabric is a mid-weight polyester crepe that I got in the New York City Garment District last year. Since the main fabric is a polyester, I knew I wasn't going to have an incredibly breathable dress anyway, so the lining is a polyester as well. I got this one from Joanne. The other change I made to the construction of this version was to conceal the zipper tape in the center back seam. Because the front is a faux wrap and its left and right sides are overlapped, you can't just construct the lining like you would in a bodice that has a single ply front. Here's what I said about the exposed zipper tape the first time around. The directions for the lining are very good, giving a good crisp finish on the neckline and arm size. The only thing that I don't like about the way the pattern is constructed is that the zipper tape isn't concealed between the lining and main fabrics. In the so this time I was sure to construct it in a way to hide that. But in order to conceal the zipper tape, I had to conceal the waistline seam in two different ways. The front is serge and the back is hand sewn, which honestly, I really don't hate. I don't love a serged waist seam anyway, so at least this version only has a little bit of that. If you didn't want to go through all this trouble, another great way to conceal the zipper tape and the waist seam would be to wrap them in bias tape. I might try that in my next version. It would also be stunning to use the same fabric you're using for the bias binding for a flat piping detail between the lining and facing. Just a fun way to tie it all in together. Now that I'm putting this video together, I'm realizing it's more of a review of the interiors, which I hope you think is as important as I do. I love beautiful insides. 
But the exterior of this pattern is pretty awesome too, so be sure to grab it before it goes out of print. And that's going to do it for me today. I hope you like my new to you dress and were inspired to elevate your insides on your next make. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.